alongside some of Hollywood's hottest leading men, including Tom Cruise, Will Smith, Mark Wahlberg, Eddie Murphy, just to name a few. Now, Tandy Newton is working with one of America's favorite friends in the new movie, Run, Fat Boy, Run. Please welcome the one and only Tandy Newton. Good morning. So good to see you. Welcome. You have worked, obviously, with so many great people, but this movie in particular is quite an You're working with Hank Azaria and David yes, Schwimmer from him. Friends directed yeah. it. Tell us about kind of the premise of, of the role and what it's about. The movie is based around a relationship between um, a man and a woman who is pregnant when they're about to get married. He runs. He can't deal with the commitment. Um, and a so, very timely theme. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then five years later, he realizes that he wants her back. He wants his son to be part of you know, his she's life. she's moved on. She's moved on. She's with the very delicious Hank Azaria, who's got a fabulous, <laughs> who's, who's easy fabulous on the career, etc., etc. So is it true, though, I mean, with, for the role, do they want you to gain weight? <laughs> Yeah, Which when I, I imagine you're like a little pipsqueak. I am, but so I've got sweet. a funny, when I put on weight, I'm like a crab. The, <laughs> the extremities stay exactly the same, the legs and the arms, and then the middle gets bigger. So unless you're naked, you can't really tell. So I Gosh, did, I did. it must be hard being you. Oh, please. But I did, I mean, I just got very friendly with the puddings. And so, obviously, the same for Simon Pegg. So those were your guilty pleasures, was the pudding? I do, I love the pastries. I love the croissant and the Danish and all that. I'm very sweet too. But then Simon Pegg, we, I arrive on the first day of shooting, and Simon's supposed to be the fat boy of of the of the movie mm. and he's trim and fabulous and I'm like what on earth is going on I've just put on you know and he had prosthetic bo bottom belly so and he boots. was allowed to wear the prosthetic he had not prosthetic you. boobies <laughs> how did that happen was that something that like it, just worked listen, out as they, didn't, they didn't tell me about that <laughs> wow that's not fair mm -hmm. so what was it like working with that uh, David as a boss he's I mean we're so, so used lovely. to him being Ross God I know and he's so unlike that character it's amazing he's very I'd known about him Pre before we made the movie because he'd been in theatre in London mm. and was, you know so I knew him more from that side of things and he's a lovely lovely man incredibly just committed he didn't need to do this it was yes. a cheap movie mm -hmm. he worked so so hard I mean the things he had to deal with um, we, we had to shoot 50 locations in 40 wow. days oh my gosh and this is in London it's, tr it's tricky yeah. right. he wow. did a great job amazing so also I heard you're quite the practical jokester is there any any you know when I get bored it's trouble that's, so give us an example can you share one that's uh, clean I had, for television well, okay there were two absolutely filthy <laughs> filthy things that, that I did but the most um, the most easy on the on the ears for this time of the morning is that I so Simon Pegg wore his clothes into work and he was on the set in his costume so I snuck into his trailer and I sewed up the cuffs of his sweater and the neck of his t-shirt <laughs> and he couldn't get them on. Aww. But what was really annoying about Simon when I played jokes on him is he would never respond. <laughs> he would pretend that nothing had happened. He so just he walked out, even get he a walked on out of, of that trailer like, hey, Tandy. <laughs> I mean, knowing that he had been like a little tortoise trying to get his head through the... I guess that's the lesson. Like, you know, you have kids. Isn't that what you're supposed oh to do? My God. It's like my dad kind of ignore I. them so they don't do... I mean, oh, not no, that no, I know no, I don't no. have kids. I can't, I can't do that. If my kids get me, they get me good. Really? And and do they give? They obviously have your sense of humor then. Listen, I give them the full response, so they just want to do it again and again and again. It's April Fool's very soon. <laughs> Goodness knows. So you guys do April happen. Fool's there too? Oh yeah. Uh oh. So I've do you have anything good up your sleeve? Hmm. I haven't even thought about it, but you know, I'm such a I'm such a genius at the old prank. <laughs> it'll, it'll just come to me first thing in the morning. Now, uh, also the interesting thing, I know that you that you are you were raised in England, but you lived in Africa for a time. And are you like related to African royalty? Oh. Is that true? Well, it's, yes, it is true actually. In Zimbabwe, before the colonial, you know, takeover. There were different royal lineages, so you know. But every town had a royal lineage. Mm -hmm. So in my in my mother's community, her father was the chief, the king of that community. And even after the colonial um, takeover, people when they were passing by my mother's area of Zimbabwe, people would stop and genuflect outside their wow. homestead. So yeah, it's kind of very fascinating. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. But like I said, you know, there were many royal families within. But you could the say you're royalty. Area. I'm a princess. That's I'm pretty. Cool I am you such are. a princess. Now, is it true you turned down Lucy Liu's role on Charlie's Angels? You know, uh, yes, I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Was it just just because it just didn't feel right, or you were I busy? Just, or I just I've just been working a long time. Yeah. Such a long time ago now. But Mission Impossible. I'd been away from home for nine months. My husband and I were just married. And it would have meant staying away from home for another, yeah. you know, six that months. That is such, see, that's Aww. great where your priorities are. I really regret you it. You chose your man. man. <laughs> I did, I did, I suppose, I did. And it was, I never looked back. And I had my daughter too. Aww. Like a month later, I was pregnant with her, so. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much Complete for coming pleasure. in. And uh, Run, Fat Boy, Run is in theaters on March 28th, coming up Monday.
Polly Shore stops by live, and uh, you know what? She's always wanted to be a news anchor, oh, so really? she's going to read the tease. Go ahead. You want to take it away on that okay. camera? Okay. Up next on the CW11 Morning News, this 11-year-old one.